Hey guys, it's Rafika. Today I'm going to be doing the review of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. So if you want to see that, keep watching. So yesterday I went to Sephora and I got the new ABH Dip Brow Gel. I got the palette and the highlighter too, but I'm going to save it for a different video because I don't want this video to be like super duper uber long. So today I'm just going to be doing reviewing this. And so I got it in the color dark brown. This is the packaging for it. It comes in like 10 shades, I believe. I can check that. Okay, so this comes in 11 different shades. They have the shades on their um, Instagram if you want to see swatches. This is only $18. I'm going to read this real quick. It They describe it as a highly pigmented brow gel with a long-lasting waterproof formula for creating fuller-looking defined brows like Dip Brow Promade in a gel form. And I really want to get this because I use Dip Brow all the time. And they said it lasts up to 12 hours. And it matches the pomade. So I use the pomade in dark brown, so I just got the gel in dark brown. And it says it's supposed to give you a natural looking finish. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see. So for my brows, they're kind of... Focus. They're kind of sparse. They're not like super thick, but they're not super sparse at the same time. This is going to be a quick video. I'll show you guys a swatch of the color on my hand. This is how... The pomade looks in dark brown. So it looks just like the pomade. And now, and this is the applicator. And now let's put this through my brows and see how this looks. I'm kind of nervous because my brows have a lot of like just sparse areas that need to be filled in. And that's why I like to use the dip brow. So let's see how this turns out. And I really want to try it without using dip brow underneath because I know I saw some people they would fill in some spots where the brows are sparse or they would take product from here on a brush and fill it in but I feel like since it's a brush I want to just use it as it's supposed to be used and sorry if my skin looks oily I like just do my skincare routine so we're trying to look dewy today so let me get this in there actually I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer yeah, all the way. Oh, it actually is filling like the brow in. Okay. If you just like brush where you need more coverage, it like just starts filling in for itself. Okay, so it looks a little rough, but I'm definitely going to clean it up with concealer. But this is how it looks on this eyebrow. This actually looks like really dark. Ooh. And then this is how it looks without it. I might have went a little sick. But let me use a regular brow brush and brush this out a little bit. Okay, so that's how it looks. It looks a little... Thick, but I feel like when I clean it up with concealer, it's gonna look good. But it definitely, I didn't expect it to actually, like it really filled in the brow. Like that wasn't just like some light little, like tint. Like that is definitely dip brow. A bold, thick brow. Now let me do it to the other eyebrow and then we can clean them up. I'm gonna go a little lighter on this brow and see what happens. This is definitely a little messy. I'm definitely gonna have to get my wipes. <laughs> oh, okay, these brows are not bad. They just need to be cleaned up. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in, oh, what happened to the bottom? In Butterscotch. And I'm going to take this flat brush from Morphe. It's an M432. And I'm gonna clean up my brows. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush and clean up my brows. Okay, after cleaning up the brow, it looks so much cuter. Oh, I'm like loving this brow. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of the dip brow on the back of my hand. The dip brow gel. And I'm going to take the brush I usually take to do my brows. 
to just fill in the top. Okay, that's good. And now I'm gonna clean up the top of this brow. I used to never clean up the top of my brow, but now I love it. Like it makes the brow so exact and cute. Like. Okay, so this is. Sorry for the sirens. And we're still going. Okay, so this is the after cleaning up. And this is the before. Before? After. Before? After. <laughs> I think this brow looks cute. And usually it literally takes me like, sometimes it, it depends on the day, but sometimes it can take me like, 30 to 45 minutes just doing brows like I can do my full face with makeup shorter than I can actually like do my brows and so I think this would be definitely helpful for anybody who takes a long time to do their brows and I feel like if I filled my if I did this or like I filled my brow in like with regular dip brow and then put this over it would just be perfect like this is definitely good and this is only $18 so so let me clean up this other brow and then I'll tell you guys all my overall thoughts about the product and I'll be right back okay so I look a little crazy because of <laughs> because of the lines of the concealer and stuff but this is how the brows came out I feel like this one looks a little crazy but I think I just went too sick on this one this is the one I said I was gonna go lighter on and I went too sick but these are the brows this is the finished product using the Anastasia Lee, <laughs> Fluffy, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. I think this product is definitely worth it. And I feel like it's very easy to use. And I feel like, especially for people who have like full brows, I feel like this would be just like swipe, swipe. And then they're just like slayed and laid after they clean up a little bit. Like, and I don't even have super thick brows, but this still like filled in my brows very, very well, as you guys can see. Yeah, I have to put another line there. Okay, I have to fix this brow, but you guys got the image. So, yeah, that's the whole video. This was $18. It has... I don't see how many ounces it has. I'll put whatever ounces it has right here on the screen. But I bet... I definitely think this product is worth it for people. And I've seen people with super sparse brows use it but I feel like if you have like no eyebrow and you have to fully make a shape I'm not sure if this would be the best product for you unless you want to keep it and use a brush and dip into it and make the shape because that works also but that's up to you but yes I love this product definitely worth it I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching comment down below what you think about these brows do you think they're worth it do you think I could have just used dipper on it would have been better personally I think it was way way faster way faster because it takes me a real long time to do my brows so tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be a part of the Feek Squad. Um, bye guys. Peace out, Girl Scouts.